good morning my linen things family and friends welcome back to the channel yep i'm before you again with another cook with me but this time it's breakfast y'all i really wanted to play with one of my birthday gifts okay so i got this um new waffle maker if you can see whoa <laughs> i didn't connect it but it's called a stuffer y'all let me put it back in And I'm going to lock it in place. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but I wanted to play with my new waffle maker. Um, I think I made waffles before, but we had a taste for waffles today. So I got my uh, mix here and my bowl. And we're going to add some chocolate chips to this thing. Y'all, these waffles be like so thick. They make like a, a Belgian size waffle. They are so cute. So I really wanted to do this um, for you guys. I want you guys to see this awesome waffle maker um like i said i'm gonna put some chocolate chips into my um mix here so we can have some chocolate chip but they're stuff it's called stuffler it's by presto um so that you can do you know you can put stuff in like you can put fresh fruit in the middle um you can put basically whatever you want and then it kind of it cooks it inside the waffle y'all so it like makes stuffed waffles i love that I don't have like any chicken. I did make a chicken and waffle with this y'all already um, on one of my first tries and it was so good. We had some leftover cut up just regular chicken and I had my batter and then I added the chicken. Well, you put your batter, then you put whatever you're gonna stuff it with. So if you're gonna stuff with egg and bacon, like if you do, we, we, well, we do eat turkey bacon, but like if you wanna use like meat and cheese in the middle of your waffle, if you wanna do a fruit in the middle of the waffle. so. The way that they have it, you will place a little bit of the waffle mixture. Then whatever you're going to stuff it with, then just a little bit more waffle mix. And then you close it up. Mm -mm -mm. That thing be so good. And so I'm going to have the waffles. We're going to make chocolate chip waffles. And then I had this quiche that I put in the oven that we're going to have with that. And it's a uh, wild mixed mushroom and spinach. And that's from Trader Joe's. I love that thing. I ran out of regular eggs, so... Guess I gotta eat a quiche with my waffles. Let's get cooking, y'all. Okay, guys, so I made my first waffle. Um, taking the little middle piece out. Look at that thing, y'all. That thing is huge. Oh my goodness. I had to move uh, my waffle maker over to where the plug is because for some reason, the way they did it, our kitchen, we don't have a plug anywhere along here. I don't know why so it's over to the side and so I had to plug it up over there but that's a waffle number one and I'm going to make another one real quick okay y'all another quick breakfast all done this is the next waffle so I'm gonna cut this so you can see the inside of this thing like we like to cut it into four parts because it has like a little the way that it's parted it uh you can see it oh and the chocolate coming out so you can see that inside of that can you wait i got it really weird but if you can see the inside of this one you see that chocolate in there Ooh -wee. so we have with some uh some berries here i thought i had some more strawberries but i guess i'm out so i just got some blackberries here and we got a little whipped cream and then my quiche is out of the oven. It's just like a little mini one. So yeah, we're gonna top these with whatever we, you know, I don't know what my daughter wants on hers, but um, we're gonna top these and eat breakfast, y'all. Thank you for just being with me a few minutes. Remember, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this content, please come on back. I definitely would love to have you uh, hit that little notification bell so that every time I upload, you will be in the know. Thank you guys. Catch you later.